You it is good yo it's your boy Ty back here with another video and in this video today guys we're gonna be doing a gameplay of the new Galaxy Opal Cosmic Vince Carter in NBA 2K23 my team. Now I actually got a decent deal on Vince and I'll explain here why in a second. Like base Vince is at least like what 700,000 MT like he is pretty expensive, like 750 for a base Vince is basically as cheap as you got. Mine isn't necessarily that souped, but he does have Hall of Fame unpluckable and handles for days are the two extra Hall of Famers. So two pretty good Hall of Famers for who should be one of your primary ball handlers. 6'6", 220 pounds for Vince, 96 three ball, 98 driving deck, 92 ball handle. Defensively, 80 block, 94 steel, 92 perimeter, 87 interior, decent rebounding stats, 97 speed, 93 lateral quickness. Tendency wise, decently solid all across the board. 17 Hall of Famers, bully fast, switch, fearless, finish and limitless takeoff. Post riser, agent three, catch and shoot, dead eye, limitless range, clamp breaker handles for days, obviously added, hyperdrive, quick first step, unpluckable added, anchor, glove, and pogo stick, also on Hall of Fame, 29 gold badges, including clamps, interceptor, pick, dodger, four on a silver, which are some silver, you know, solid silver badges as well. Now, badges I'd look to give him, maybe you're looking at rebound chaser, vice grip, brick wall, mismatch expert, dimer, claymore, rise up. Those are seven, probably the top seven badges, maybe not worried about brick wall, maybe not rebound chaser, but the other ones, I'd probably look to give VC. Looking at Vince here in shoot around movement wise, incredible. And I mean, I don't wanna gas Vince too much, but his movement's incredible. He's got the Kuzma base with the Vince upper. I mean, I've always loved Vince's release. Part of it is because of that upper. So, I mean, I don't think anybody's gonna dislike this release. It is absolutely incredible. It's kind of weird, kind of just because Vince has never had that type of a release, but I really don't hate it. Now, as far as his drifter, his drifter is the same one that Dr. J has. The difference is Vince is gonna be on quick, whereas Dr. J's is just on normal timing. Really not bad, I mean, for a fade. I mean, a lot of people are going to say, well, he doesn't have the normal fade, this and that. His drifter really is not bad. So his release is good. His drifter is not bad. Let's check out his full court dribble six. Behind the back, not great. Tween, not great. Crossover, not great. And so as far as his moving dribble six, that's something that I wouldn't necessarily say is concerning but it's not necessarily what you're wanting to see out of Vince Carter. So as far as I'm concerned, I like what I'm seeing out of Vince. That's what I'm going to say. I don't want to sit here and gas him unless I hoop with him in the game, but, but I really do think this card is going to be next level good on both current and next gen. We're going to have into a game of my team Unlimited with VC. Right now we're 22-0. and Can we improve to 23-0? and Let's find out. My opponent does have a solid team. He's even got the JaVale McGee takeover award. 22 and 19 compared to 22 and 0. I don't know about my opponent. I don't think he's horrible, but I mean, he's got Richard Hamilton and I've got Vince Carter. I hate to break it to him. I just don't even think this is going to be fair. Front clutch dunks. More of an impact on current gen than next gen. Like, he's not going to get any blocks dunked. Whereas, you know, obviously on next gen, you can just kind of cheese with the standing dunk glitch as it is. But oh, yeah, Vince, come here. Hey. Oh my goodness gracious. I missed! Oh, I thought I cooked him. No way. No way he getting a board over y'all run. Uh-oh. Hit him. Is that bad that I stopped on the break? It doesn't matter. I mean, I know I shot an early on the one, but I'm still going to be confident with Vince, man. He's got the Kuzma base. You don't think I'm green in the majority of the shots I take with him? You're wrong. I'm, I'm, I, that's a bad shot. Good play, Ty. Good play, Ty. I don't gotta do too much, man. Just, just, just let, let my Vince cook, man. Let him run to the rim. Have Mr. E on a pop. We're gonna be smooth. Yep. Good, Vince. You're good, Vince. I ain't gotta do too much with you. You using it? That's fine. That's just a switch. That's just a switch. I'm not worried about it. It's just a switch. That's not the switch I really wanted, but it's cool. Oh, yeah, Vince? Nah, uh Not on Vince Carter. No, sir, man. No, sir. Yup, Vince. What badge we got? Sharp badge? All right. Wasn't even ready for it. He trying to cheese. Uh-oh. You leaving him open? Yo, magic passing style. Gotta go. 
by him or by him. Like, this game is so sad for even letting me get my board on that. Yo, he played really good D on my bench right there. I'm not even going to sit here and lie. That's great D. I'm going to fix that. I'm not super worried about it because I know how good the card truly is. Hey, stand and nug me. Hey, Vince. It's too easy. Good luck guarding that. Yep, good luck. Cookies! I'm pulling this. I really wanted to pull it with Vince, but it's like, I just got to make the right play. Standing man. Standing man, Vince. Yup, standing man. Ooh, that could be mine. Could be mine. Thank you, where Vince. Oh, I want to shoot it, man. He not letting my Vince get off. Bro, I'm annoyed right now, man. I got to do all that for one decent look with Vince, man. It's he just jumping at me and everything. I like that fade, though. Y'all might not like it, but it's the same one Dr. J has. And I feel like once you get used to it, it's just fine. You green and Nope, you're throwing it right. Oh, no. No. Come on, man. No. Uh-oh. You going to leave Vince? Hey, VC. Front clutch me. Come on. This card is elite. This card is elite, man. Nope, four. Four seconds. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Oh, hit him. Count it. Y'all lucky that ain't count. Like, I know it went in, but I live with it because it's a good contest, man. And the thing I like about Vince is his standing dunk is so tough. Like, and the difference between him and Dr. J is you've got to respect Vince's ability to come off a screen and let it fly. Halftime box score for VC looks pretty good. And we're up 20. Can he be that, pri oh my gosh, that primary option offensively walk back? That's a good switch, man. Come here. All right, he's exhausted. So it's either, honestly, whatever, just attack the rim. That's a tough bucket. I mean, it really is a tough possession. He's blinking, he's tired, and we still find a way to get a bucket. Thank you, run. Finally got enough space, enough separation, and that's a 24% with VC. That's what I need to see more of, Vince. Be that threat coming off the screen. Otherwise, might as well just run Dr. J, man. I guess. I know, he steps up and then he runs back to protect the paint. That's what he's done all game. Again, Vince Carter, make him pay, man. That's all I'm asking. You to be a little different from everybody else. Make him pay. Every time they leave you, make him pay. It's JaVale, not worried, bored, run, not worried. Leaving Bob Nedelecki because you're so worried about stopping Vince Carter. Just don't know if that's your best idea, man. Easy one. Every time he steps up, I just got to make that pass because he's doing it every possession, just stepping up crazily. <laughs> Come on, man. Where are you throwing the ball? No step, it's green. You better start stepping up on Vince Carter. 
you better. He's got half range. I'm not worried about missing. Sometimes you got to give credit to your opponent, man. He threw an absolute dot right there. Credit to you, man. No way. I mean, it's just Vince's world right now. And y'all just, I mean, we're all just living in it. Like, this is crazy how good they made him. Better step up. I don't know why he's not stepping up. It don't make sense to me. I've got sharp badge, I got half range, and I've got Vince Carter. This dude, Richard Hamilton, low key, is getting it back for him. Oh, he missed a dunk. He got a 97 driving dunk. He should never miss. You are crazy. You could just let Braun take the dunk. No, you decided to leave Vince Carter open. Don't ask me questions. I don't know why. Six seconds, can I get him a good look? Ah, he's just too tired. Simple, he's tired. Final buy score for Ye Vince. Yes, don't let Mr. E. Jillian over, overshadow him. 40, er, 34 points, six assists, one rebound, steal block as well. Eight of 12 from three, he was nearly perfect. Vince is the best shooting guard in the game. Everybody should agree with that. Vince, the best shooting guard in the game. I don't think it's particularly close. Now, this thing that I'm about to say, you guys might not agree with either. Vince is the second best card in the game, okay? How I feel about cards right now, I love E. Jillian. I, I do. I think he's the best power forward. I still think for the average person that loads up my team, this is the most important card, okay? And yeah, I mean, I, I just, I can't put uh, Vince card over him. But after him, give me Vince card every day of the week. I try to get him below 400, 500,000 MT. The hard part is how much better is he compared to Terry, who's like 200K. That's really what you've got to look into. Drop a like on the video, guys. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, man, I love you guys. And have a blessed day.